From the food to the dance of the Pacific Islander community, it is really, really rich in culture. And I did have the opportunity to learn about life in Hawaii and the beautiful art of hula dancing. And I love when people love Hawaii and want to learn about it too. The, this is the this is the land. The land. So, right? Did I do that right? Is it opposite? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hands are out. And your towards fingers together. Yeah. Fingers yeah. together. In dancing and everything, there's so many people that they want to learn more. So I try to preserve that and teach that. It's I was lucky enough to spend time with Mary Ann Souza of Northwest Hula Company, who invited me to learn about her Hawaiian culture. The Pacific Islander community likes to keep the culture alive, and when we get together, we like to speak the way we normally speak in Hawaii. In Hawaii, we have hula sisters, you know, and so we all, you know, able to talk. In Hawaii. The local style of talk and the food and just sharing a lot of the culture and keeping that alive here. She was born and raised in Hawaii and has brought her love of dance to the mainland. She owns Spokane's only professional hula dance entertainment company. A little grass shot in Hawaii is what we're going to be dancing. The hands tell all the story of the hula. Going up the hill, you're going up the hill, coming down the hill. It was not just the motions, but you had to understand what the words meant and what the composer was thinking of when he wrote the song. That is the land, yeah. And then we're going back again, the land. Telling the story, I yeah. just, that's my most favorite part of this dance is being able to interpret the story and tell it while feeling so beautiful and graceful. And the wind, I mean, we don't have it here in, in this song, but this is the wind, kamakani, that's the wind. It, it's, just, it's just how you feel about it. And so that's what really hula is all about. Auntie Bernie says she still loves to dance hula. She's a well-loved and respected elder in the Pacific Islander community. She says Hawaii is a melting pot for so many different nationalities. I like to teach people that there's so many, multi, it's multicultural there too. We have like what we call pidgin English or broken English. And that's because when you're growing up in Hawaii, different people trying to talk to each other in different languages, it became like this, it kind of became its own language in a way. You know, that's why sometimes it gets disrespected. So I think it's important to, for the people understand that we came to gr together as different cultures and we learned to work together and talk together. Instead of saying A-E-I-O-U, yeah. we say A-E-I-O-U. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. So if you listen to some of us yes. talk, yeah. that's how, what we're, we're using, those vowels, because all our lives yeah. we're used mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. And with all those cultures coming together came different culinary opportunities. Food is the way we connect to the rest yeah. of the world because food is everything. It's a fusion. We started mm -hmm. fusion before it was even a thing. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's what we bring to Spokane. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that kind of uh, connection where not just our hula, our hula speaks because of our language. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the food, who doesn't like? We, we're going to start here, um, this is um, jasmine rice, and then this is potato mac salad. Um, this is really popular and famous in Hawaii. So of course, they cooked a beautiful Hawaiian meal for me to try. The chicken is bonus size and it's marinated in a mochiko rice flour shoyu with your soy sauce. I was honored to have been invited to dance, share a meal, and learn about this beautiful culture from the Hula Sisters. Smelling the flower, yeah. And smiling through it all. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have great teachers. Thank you. <laughs> Dana Marie, you crushed it. Oh, thank you. Well, like I said there, the day were so sweet and teaching me and so patient. Uh, but the best part about it is learning the story behind the hula and the different moves and yeah. Tim, You're Jeremy. You're natural. I want to learn. You want to learn? Teach okay. us, Dana Marie. So basically what they said is the, the main move is right here that you have to do your arms and your hips 
Like the wave, the, and the same. There you go, I guys. I can't take my hips. Like, no. <laughs> Wait, so do I go the same way my arms are pointing? Yes, exactly. Okay. That's what and they said. So, so Marianne with Northwest Hula Company, she's giving me the moves to I can't to relay them to you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? This is the land. This means land. Very good. Wow. Do I keep the hips going? Yes, yeah, okay. of course. And then you switch arms. Okay, perfect. And then little grass hut is like this. That's what the song was that we did in the package. And then we have uh, the mountains like this. Oh, I like them. Going up the mountains. That's Damn what they real. said. Very natural. And then we have the wave, of the course. Oh, I like the wave. So do you go to the side when you do I the wave? I got too much hip. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Not enough hip, Tim. And Is then we'll <laughs> smell the flower as we toss the break. Right. Pick the flower, Pick the flower and smell, smell the flower. And just mm. smile through it all if you don't know what you're doing. That's what they say.